Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on the beautiful channel on the beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So I got something something else today. Um, I want to start working on the editor state, but there is something that's bugging me with the window settings and I know I'm going to forget this if we don't actually do it now. So something I want to do is I want to actually create a little box type thing where we can set all the settings for the window for the graphics and we'll save it in that little box and we can send that box over to our setting state and it'll change stuff in there and and save it to the file and everything and stuff so basically what I want to do is I want to make a class called settings okay and this settings is gonna be private to the game class to the engine basically and it will have a public uh, area here settings okay so I'll have a little constructor here um, no need for a destructor really and the, the idea here is that functions <clears throat> what we can do is we can do void save to file void load from file okay so we'll be able to do these two things so we'll be able to save a save this to the settings file and and load it from a settings file basically okay so const std string string path and the same thing for load from file okay and pretty much the path is going to be just the uh, i and i file right so basically that's all it's going to be um but basically variables we're going to need to save all the settings here so what does a window have what settings do we need to save um, well what we need to do um, and let's call this graphics settings it's very specific here graphics settings okay very very specific uh, sf video mode active video mode or resolution we'll call that resolution um, and then we'll have a boolean for full screen we'll have the vertical sync bool vsync vertical sync um, what else do we need we need the frame rate limit um, where should I have that here unsigned uh, frame rate limit unsigned uh, oh no SF context settings context settings um, std vector SF video mode video modes okay so now we got a bunch of things here that we can do um, basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna save all the video modes available um, whoops wait what am I doing dude? this should be right in here okay cool no big deal this resolution equals SF um, video mode get desktop mode all right very simple this full screen okay 120 there this full screen equals false this vertical sync equals false um, then we have the context settings. So this context settings dot at the aliasing level is zero. This video mode equals SF video mode get full screen mode. So there we go. Now we got a bunch of resolutions, bunch of sorry about that, a uh, bunch of things that we can use in our graphics settings class, right? So that's really nice. Um, saving the file, all that stuff is cool. Um, and loading from file 
cool. All right, so we got a bunch of things. Now we got to clean this up a little bit. We got to remove window settings and full screen and video modes. Uh, we got states and everything. That's fine from game.h, okay? Now I'm just going to close all but this on game CPP. I'm just going to open game.h again. And now we're going to play around with this here. Um, so we're going to create a new function. Uh, actually, I'll create it in here. Let's minimize that for a second. In a variables void init graphics settings. Very specific. Remember to be specific. It's important to be specific because sometimes you get a, you get a bunch of problems if you're not. So here we're going to initialize the graphics settings. Uh, and obviously we need to create graphics settings first. So graphics settings gfx settings okay i can just call it g settings because we're gonna we're gonna need that to use that a lot um is that a little too vague gfx settings is better gfx settings this gfx settings dot load from file um config um window.ini we'll just call it window.ini i guess uh graphics.ini cool we'll just do that and then we're just going to copy all of this actually going to copy all of this all the way down to here just x that out um and remove that um and just paste that in here let's see okay so loading from file that's fine we don't need the video modes that's already loaded in um could you use that i can remove this all of those see full screen window settings remove that okay just copy all of this and we'll load from file. So we're going to work on the load from file. That's the important part. Let's put that in here into the load from file. Okay. Uh, and once you do that, then we'll do this. IFS. Uh, this title. Uh, title, title. Don't we have a title? Oh, we don't have a title. STD string title. Uh, this title equals uninitialized or default whatever you want to call it um, and then we'll read that into the title and then this resolution width and we'll read right into it this resolution dot height uh, this full screen this frame rate limit this vertical sync this context settings dot anti alias single level and we'll read right into those and once that's done the and this will change to graphics dot ini so that or path actually you know we could just do path dot dot c s t r c string I'm, or do we need that i don't think we need that path fine um and then we close the file and the load from file will be successful saving to file pretty much similar um you know we could just copy over this and instead of if stream we'll just see os off stream and then ofs ofs OFS, copy that, boom, 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 boom. Um, basically, I think it's just like this. And then we'll read it out. And we'll just put it all out to to the uh, the file. Okay, so and then you get the space there as well. Pretty sure that should be fine. Just saving to file. We won't try that right now, but 
you know, we'll keep that there. And then we have the load from file. So that's cool. At least that will work. And then video modes will be will be uh, created on its own. So we load that from file. That's cool. La 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 la. Okay. 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 That's the default. So that's cool. So once we have that, I should be able to do this. GFX settings dot full screen. Um, and then I'll just copy this, this GFX settings and I'll put it right here dot resolution. This GFX settings dot title. So to make it a little easier to read, we're just going to do this like we always do. Full screen. Uh, this GFX settings dot context settings. And then we'll do the same thing here. Pretty much this is if it's not a full screen. So this is resolution. This GFX dot title. This is a context settings and then cool um, and of course we'll set the window dot frame rate limit um, dot v vertical sync so very very simple very nice very nice I like that I like that so we can't forget to change this in here so we need to go in here as familiar RPG uh, config and we need to change this to graphics.ini and then we'll just edit that with sublime text and we'll see so we got the title stuff 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 okay everything looks fine everything looks fine and then I guess we'll just run this and we'll see if that works and then we we can send the settings to different stuff basically uh, so well that does say default though probably not what we want um let's see oh that's because i never run this in a, in a gfx setting so let's just do that before we do the window this in it graphics settings oh this in it variables as well don't forget that so there you go once you do that you're fine uh, and then we run this, we should be good, we should be good. So it should load from the file uh, without a problem. Yep, it did. New game. All right, and we got all our all our stuff ready. There you go. Settings, all that stuff. I could probably change that as well. Yeah, there you go. Uh, cool, cool, guys and girls. There you go, a little simple settings uh, container type thing. Uh, just you can load settings, you can save settings. So we're just going to keep that there and use that so there you go now we can use that in our uh, in our beautiful setting state so all we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make sure that we can we can get a setting state what do you call it um, we can send it in here right here so I don't think we can access that right now settings graph fix settings no you can't really do that so we're gonna have to um, take it out of this private section here and make sure we we create its own file basically we could do that and then we'll just include it wherever we need it um, but we'll do that in the next video and work with that and then we'll work with the editor state as well so thank you so much for watching drop a like subscribe if you like the content also check out the description box and yeah, take care, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.